Now, imagine, if you will, for a moment, the next Tuesday, November 8th, you step outside your door, you look up to the sky, and you say, is that a bird? Is that a plane? Is that an aircraft carrier? Is that the Twin Towers I see flying by? Next Tuesday, November the 8th, 2011, Asteroid 2005 YU-55 will be making a flyby. Is that kind of like when, they, when gang members do a drive-by? We're going to get a flyby. And will this be as deadly? Will it make a direct hit? Will it make impact? And what? What will be the effects of the gravitational pull on this planet? Believe me, whatever NASA and mainstream media tells you, this object is larger and closer to Earth than you're being told. Let me repeat. This asteroid is larger, more dangerous, and closer than you are being told, than what is being reported. Now, what really concerns me is, and are the two events tied together, or is it a coincidence that the very next day President Obama has ordered uh, a test of the emergency alert system where all communication, believe me, all communication is going down. That means radio, television, phones, believe me, cell phones, and, and possibly, I believe, the internet as well. Is it just a coincidence that this happens the following day? We're going to take a look at what mainstream media is telling us about this asteroid. Oh, don't worry, it's a bunch of baloney. Well, baloney to you. What else concerns me greatly is, well, this asteroid is doing its drive-by on us, fly-by, rather. We've got the Mayan elders and their 13 crystal skulls, and who knows what portholes they're opening and what uh, they are conjuring up. What evil. So I want you to leave me your comments. Let's take a look at what mainstream media is saying. We start starting to cover it now. Are they trying to uh, get you to uh, go about your daily business? Don't worry about this big giant asteroid, uh, the bigger than an aircraft carrier. It's just going to wave as it goes by. You just keep watching um, X Factor and Dancing with the Stars. Everything's fine. Take this little pill. Okay, I'm, uh, I'm getting upset now. Let's take a look at what uh, mainstream media is telling us. Bear with me. Asteroid to pass Earth 2005, YU-55, to fly by November the 8th. And I'm going to play a little video for you. On November 8th, Earth will have a close encounter with a sizable asteroid, but not too close, thankfully. The asteroid designated 2005, YU-55, will pass Earth at a distance of about 325,000 kilometers, uh-huh, just inside the orbit of the moon. Asteroids come that close frequently, but 2005 YU-55 is notable for its dimensions, 400 meters in diameter. NASA says the asteroid is the size of an aircraft carrier, but it's act actually even larger. So there's a contradicting statement right there. It's the size of an aircraft carrier, but it's actually larger. You see where I'm coming from? Do you see how NASA and the mainstream media... Uh, kind of got you here what was the size of an aircraft carrier oh but really it's bigger did you see the point I'm trying to uh, get across the last time an asteroid this big came this close to earth was 1976 and it looks like it won't happen again until 2008 astronomers are going to be out in force watching this watching this town fly by in the sky uh, let me check my time I'm going to try to play a video for you. Oh, yeah, we got time. So, let me play. I love this reporter here. <laughs> let me play this video, and then we're going to uh, get comments from everybody. Everyone, Little commercial. No, is it a coincidence that the very next day, President Obama, or Obama orders a test of the alert emergency alert defense system? And we... All communication goes down. Here we go. 
Heads up, Earth is about to get a very close visitor. Here's KCPQ with the story. An asteroid is passing by Earth next month, and it's a big one. NASA says it's about 1,300 feet across and is traveling at almost 31,000 miles an hour. It's passing on November 8th within 201,000 miles of Earth. Now, that's 15% closer than the moon. The last time an asteroid of this size passed so close to Earth was back in 1976. The asteroid called YU-55 is the size of an aircraft carrier. Space.com calls it a veritable mini world and says an object that big getting that close ought to catch our attention. A it's mini world! Is another wake up call. An express mail reminder that humanity resides on a sitting duck of a planet. Rumors have circulated about the destructive power of YU-55 for months. A direct impact from the asteroid would leave behind a 1500 foot crater. Most. But Discover Magazine's Phil Plate says there's no reason to think that will happen anytime soon. It's what's called a potentially hazardous asteroid because its orbit intersects ours, but observations have shown it won't be a danger to Earth for at least a century, and probably much more. There's been some scaremongering about it over the past few months, but as usual, that's all baloney. This rock will pass us safely, sailing on into the night. The flyby is an important occasion for astronomers. It's the first time an asteroid this size will pass close to Earth where scientists knew about it beforehand. A writer for IB Times says NASA is pulling out the big guns. Scientists are preparing an extensive campaign of radar, visual, and infrared observations. The powerful Goldstone Observatory radio dishes in Mojave, California will be deployed as part of radar scanning, including the huge Arecibo Observatory in Puerto Rico. In addition, there are near-infrared observation campaigns planned. The next time a rock this size will buzz Earth will be 2028. For News, I'm Anthony Martinez, Multiple Sources, The Real Story. Well, there you have it. Oh, it's a bunch of baloney. But, you know, we, we on planet Earth, we're sitting ducks. Do you see how they contradict ourselves? I want you to leave me comments on this 2005 YU-55 asteroid, the connection with the very next day, President Obama ordering a test of the emergency alert system and all forms of communication going down. And what are these evil spirits being conjured up, being summoned, by these Mayan elders and these 13 crystal skulls and is it all connected? Are we sitting ducks? Are we just a bunch of quacks? I don't think so. Leave me your comments. God bless. I got a lot more to bring you today. Things are heating up in the Middle East. India is on the border of China and looks like war. Looks like war between Israel and Iran. I've got all that and a whole lot more. Stay tuned. YU-55 asteroid is that a bird? Is that a plane? Is that a mini world flying by? Leave me comments. God bless you. I'll be back.